Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is the OverDrive app, which is how you'd use the Hennepin County Library or any of the other libraries to actually check out ebooks. And so if I click in the OverDrive app here, and again, I'm on my iPad, you can see I live in Shakopee, so here's Scott County, but I'm going to click on the Hennepin County one. And so all you have to do is you actually have to just type in your uh, library card information into this. You create an account and then you can check out all the books. So here's the, the main page. You can see here's things based on how you checked out things. They, they can give you recommendations. Here's the brand new books that they have. And so you can see all the ones that have the, the black book there it means that they're available to check out. You can of course search for books up here. So let's just search for Harry Potter, see what they have. So now you can see these ones do not have the the black here. So there's an audio book and then there's a regular book. And so if they're grayed out like this, that means that they're not available. You'd have to put them on hold so you could click on it. And you could place a hold and then it'll just email you if you want when it's ready and then once it is ready what you can do is you can go up to your account and you can see you have a bookshelf you have your holds and so these are the couple books and audio books that people on my account not saying who might be watching or I suppose listening to so what I'm gonna do here is well, I already picked this one to download as a, a, a Kindle, a Kindle book. So if you have a Kindle, a book reader, or you have the, the, the app for it, what you can do is, when you click on this, download, and it will actually sync with your Amazon account. And so I can just click on this Get Library Book up here in the top right corner. And it'll send it to wherever I want. So I actually have a Kindle, so it'll go there. Or what I can do is I can click on the iPad. And wherever I go, it will actually then just send that. So if I'm at school here and I click on that, I can go home. I can turn my device on at home, and it'll automatically download there. So then you can take it with you, and you have it for the, the three weeks. Um, the other choice is if you go back and... Let's see, we'll go back, see if we can find a, a book here. So we will go to ebooks over here in the corner. This kind of just, again, here's their web page kind of telling you how to do it. So again, they're promoting the OverDrive app here. So I'm going to go new ebooks here. And so here it's just telling you kind of the ones that they've added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bounce between. The different libraries because it's going to take me back to the page I want. So here, we'll just do this one, 150th Healthiest Slow Cooker Recipe. So I'm going to click on this, I'm going to click on Borrow, and we're going to hope this works, what I want it to do. Okay, so I borrowed it. So now I have the option to download either as a Kindle book again, and that's what I showed you before, or what I can do is this Adobe EPUB. And when I do that, what that does is it actually downloads it. And so this is how I actually read them on my iPad. So now if I, so you can see up here in the corner, it's downloading. And so as it's downloading, it'll then load it right on the computer here. So you can see files, bookshelf, and so it's still downloading. But when I click on this, we gotta just wait for it to download. But when I do this, it'll eventually download it and then you can read it right on the iPad and you can swipe back and forth. Oh, is it done? Maybe it's done. I think I went too fast. There we go. So now, it's just like a book. I'm just swiping back and forth. Okay, and again, I don't know if I can do this on the computer. We'll see if I rotate this. 